Hello, my name is Henk de Graaf, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about brain storage. Now, there's different types of storage that people have, and there's different types of needs that people have. If you're a farmer that harvests this grain, put it in a silo, just in order to have it there for long enough, let's say within a week or so, to ship it off to a bulk handler, then really, this video is not for you. However, if you are considering storing for longer, and you may feel the need to store longer for a variety of reasons, then I honestly suggest take a really interesting what we're telling you about this today. One of the things for long term grain storage is the ability to keep the grain cool and dry. For doing that, we're using grain aeration. Now you think, okay, grain aeration, we'll just put a fan at the bottom and box your own cough. Well, not quite, because there's a lot of things that you really need to consider. One of them is resistance in the grain. Now, a little example. If you have a water hose coming from your tap and you put a sprinkler on it five meters away on the, on the hose, you'd expect a certain amount of water to come out of that sprinkler. However, if that hose is 15 meters, you're going to get a lot less. The, re the reason for that is resistance in that piece of pipe. The same applies with grain. You've got resistance in the grain. And that resistance is created by the number of air passages that the air can go through to go from the bottom of the silo to the top. Now, obviously, as you can imagine, the smaller the grain type, the higher the resistance. Try to blow air through a bucket of, bucket of sand, and it's going to be very, very high. So chia, for instance, very, very small grain, or corn, as you can imagine, quite a bit of difference. So this is the thing that you really need to consider before we even start talking about selecting fans, is what resistance are you going to experience in your storage? If that resistance is of a chia type, or if it corn or wheat or whatever, make a decision. If you're only storing one type of grain all the time, it's an easy one. However, if you have multiple grain types that you really need to, to work with, then pick the highest one. Then that way you don't lose out if you take the high resistance one after that. Second one is the height of the silo. The more grain you got on top of each other, the higher the resistance becomes as well. So that if you got a silo that's six meters tall and you've calculated a certain amount of fan size that you need for that, just don't expect it to work for a 10 meter size. Now, there's a lot more to tell about grain aeration, and I'm gonna go through a few more options and subjects to go through. But in the meantime, if you want to know a little bit more, have a look what's on the bottom on the screen and get to know a little bit more about it. Thank you.